know how it is. Hit it. I promise you, swag, swag. Hey loves, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a DIY on how to fix your jeans or jean shorts and stuff whenever you have that gap that sticks out in the back. Because you know, some of us have bigger legs or bigger butts so it does cause that gap to stick out in the back. And you want your shorts or your jeans to fit in your legs and your butt and everything but then sometimes the waist is not small enough so you will have that gap. So today I showed you dolls how to actually take in shorts i did two pairs of jean shorts i actually only show you how to do one of them but both of these were in haul videos so you can definitely see in those videos which i'm gonna insert footage that shows how big these were in the back it looks really good whenever you put them on on the inside you can see the stitching just a little bit but it's really not that noticeable and on the outside you cannot see the stitching at all you can see how the waist is a little bit gathered from the elastic but once you put it on it does stretch it out so it just looks normal like whenever you purchase jeans originally so i think this is a really good method it's super easy the materials that you need are really cheap and just really basic so yeah, if you guys want to see how to take your jeans in so you don't have that gap in the back, stay tuned. the supplies needed to complete this DIY. So first you need two safety pins. You will also need some elastic. It doesn't matter what color. You also need some scissors and you need some thread and of course you need a needle. I'm using a hair needle. It's just easy for me. So you want to start by cutting a slit on the side of the jeans. You don't want to cut the hole all the way through because you don't want to be able to see it. So you're just going to cut that top layer and I just spaced it out from where the tag is. And you want to make sure that the hole is big enough for the elastic to go through. Once you do that, you want to do the same thing to the opposite side. So once you do that, next you want to get your elastic and you want to measure it out so that it will be the right length that's going to take your waist in. You don't want the elastic to be the same length because it's not going to bring it in at all. So you just want to measure it and take off a little bit where it's not as long as where you put the cuts in. And then you want to use your safety pin on one end, pin it onto the elastic and then you want to start sliding the elastic through. There is a hole in between your jeans here, so it's really easy and you can feel the safety pin while you're pushing it through and you just keep sliding it through until you get it in quite enough and then once you get to the end, you're not going to pull it all the way through because you want to be able to safety pin the end of it so that you're able to sew it down. Okay, so once you can see a little bit of the elastic sticking out, then you can go ahead and pin it and this is going to keep it in place. So I'm just using a safety pin here to secure it. Just like that. So then you're going to go ahead and pull it through all the way on the other end just so that you can pull the elastic all the way through. And then you're going to go ahead and take that safety pin out and also secure it down so that it holds it in place. So then you can go ahead and start sewing it. Now whenever you're sewing it, you don't want to sew all the way through the jean where you're going to be able to see it on the back end. You just want to sew that top layer but make sure that you sew the elastic as well so that it holds it in place. And I'm just sewing up the hole and also grabbing the elastic as well so that it secures it right in place so that it won't move at all. And you just want to stitch through all the way so that you can close up that hole that you cut in the jeans completely so it won't be any opening there at all. And you also want to keep checking to make sure that you're not going in too much where the thread is going to be showing at the back of the jeans because you just want to get that top layer.
Okay, so once you get done with that, then you can go ahead and secure it by tying a knot in it. I like to do at least two to three knots just to know that it's not gonna come loose at all. And of course, after that, you can trim off the extra thread and you wanna do the same thing to the other side. Once you're done, it should look like this where it's a little bit gathered, but it definitely makes a difference so that you don't have that gap sticking out at the back. So I hope you dolls like this and I hope it helps you. You can do this with jeans or shorts, it doesn't matter. Thank you.